Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. So I'm spreading the last of the mulch that I've harvested from my conventional compost piles and I'm pretty much out of mulch now so it's time to get harvesting my chicken compost. Towards the end of last year you saw me create the new chicken composting system and the new chicken coop so we're going to get the big compost sifter out and start harvesting a load of chicken compost. So keep watching I'll show you how much compost I'm going to harvest now and I'm going to show you how I'm going to set it up so I can keep harvesting compost through the season and get her set for next year as well. So it's time to get the big compost sifter out and get this guy back into action. We haven't used him for a while, but I thought you'd come and help me with the frame. Okay. So the old frame is a little bit worse for wear. I'll say a little bit, go on, take that. It's completely dead, yeah. You take the other side. So go on, go on, start walking up there. Even though it's come apart, it's come apart in a good way with a bit of, it's come apart in a way that's going to be beneficial for us because we, we need to be able to get this into the chicken coop because it's going to permanently stay in there. So come on guys, bring those bits. So the new frames are ready and we're going to go and assemble them inside the chicken coop and just have them set in there and it's going to be a permanent feature in there. So we're ready to start harvesting the compost and you can see the sort of material that we've got. It's not far off, just being ready to take this straight out to be honest with you. It's quite... It's really good quality stuff, but we're going to give it a sift, just so we're set. And then we can use it for filling our plant pots as well. Okay, get some buckets, get some shovels and start shoveling, lifting this into shovel buckets. So I've pretty much got to soil level here. So I'm going to start assembling my frame. Come closer, come closer. Go on, put it on, put it on. That's it, go on, lift it up. You're going to be turning all day, you're going to get sick of turning in a bit. So because this is a permanent feature, I'm going to screw this into place. Because the last time I had it, I had it so I could remove it about. It kept on coming out of place and kept on uh, causing me a problem that way. Now it's going to be in permanent position and that's it, it's staying in here. I want to turn, Baba. I'm you want turning. to turn? Yeah, you're going to, I'm going to give it to you to turn in a second. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be putting lots of soil in there, and you're gonna be turning. You're gonna turn so much, I'm sure you're gonna get fed up with it. You're holding it. All right, you do the drilling. You do the drilling. I'll hold it. Okay, I don't need them. Wait, 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 Zaki. Get the WD-40, Zaki. To you. Go on. Slowly first. Slowly first. Slowly first. Move that hand. Move that hand. I've got it. Slowly first. Slowly first. No, 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 no. Hold it down. Jackie, okay, stop that. Wait. No. Go on. No. No. Stop. So this just acts as a feeder shoot and helps guide everything inside. And there we go, ready to go. Yeah, put that in the bag. In. Can I take, put the bag in the bag and There we go, w, some WD-40 on. What is that? This is oil. Oil? Yeah. Why do we need oil? Alright, so it's ready. You want it to spin, so you can start spinning. Start spinning! Yeah, you can start spinning now. I want to go first. No, first. He, Zaki said first. Okay, you can spin. I'll put the f compost on. Guys, you keep... 
you keep shifting compost on, right? You stand there, what, stop. Go on, spin, spin. That's it, go on. These boys motoring away now. Go on, go on, turn, turn, turn. Spin. It's not stuck, go on. Come on. There, go on, keep okay. doing it. That's it. And so while these guys are working, I just get to sit and relax. I mean, we shoveled, we shoveled out half of this chicken compost to make the bed out there. And uh, yeah, we should get, a, we should get a good few wheelbarrow loads. So here comes my first load of compost. So this is the compost. It's ideal for using for potting up. I've still got quite a few pots to pot up. So these are gonna come in handy to do that. But right now I need to munch that bed because I need to get my squash planted uh, pretty sharpish. And I wanna try and lock in as much moisture as I can because it's too dry at the moment. It's too, the sun's too hot. We're not forecasting any rain. So I don't want any mo moisture evaporating out of the ground. So I need to get as much mulch on as possible. So I'm just coming out with my second wheelbarrow load and I'm getting a little bit tired. It's, it's getting a little bit late on for tonight so I'm gonna stop harvesting compost tonight. But let me show you a couple of things. So if you remember when I set this bed up over here, everything on here is basically what I scraped out of there. I haven't topped that up since. And this is, I just poured it straight on, on top of here. The chickens have been out here scratching. You can see what they've done. That's the original earth. That's the original earth level. Um, and that's still quite solid. And this is the new chicken, com this is the chicken compost bed that's just been spread on top. So what we'll do is we're gonna plant squash in here. And in a year's time, give it another year. I mean, it's only been about four or five months since I did this bed. Give it another year and that soil underneath that's solid right now, you're gonna be able to dig that with your hands. It's gonna be absolutely wonderful stuff. The compost that we harvested just a little bit ago, oh, I'll cover that garlic plant a little bit. Get that spread onto here. And underneath and into that garlic that's already on the ground. Be a little bit more careful when I'm coming into the roots of these plants because I don't want to damage them. So we've got peas back here, we've got garlic, and I'm going to start plant interplanting into the middle of these very shortly. And tomorrow when I trim these hedges, and you've seen me do it before, is when I just put it out onto the lawn, run it over with the lawnmower. And yeah, absolutely, it'll be fine to just mulch over the top of this compost and I'm gonna be ready to plant into here. So here's another wheelbarrow load. I'm gonna finish off spreading it onto that bed and I'll show you what we've got inside. We've harvested everything from that section over there. There's a little bit of, of compost to harvest here. So I think we'll get another couple of wheelbarrow loads. Let the chickens come and do their thing tomorrow. And then once we're finished, that'll just get shifted over into that corner and left for the night, do you know, it's gonna just be left there to stay there permanently. Having the extra space in here has made a massive difference in to be able to, do you know, to be able to do this chicken composting system. And once we've finished harvesting it, we're just gonna pile it up with wood chips again. So uh, we've taken out two, 
we'll probably take out about four or five wheelbarrow loads of compost so uh, and with everything that we've already taken out I think another 10 barrel loads of wood chip into here and in a couple of months we'll be able to harvest a load more again this is definitely the most productive system that I've got for composting it's absolutely amazing if you ever have problem weeds and you find that hard to compost throw them into a system like this and the chickens will compost it for you in a completely safe way because they'll eat the roots they'll scratch it up they'll make it completely unviable I have very little weed germination from this kind of system but I'm really happy with the way the amount of compost that we've got we've got enough for one bed two beds yeah absolutely amazing I'm going to finish off getting tidied up Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for regular updates. If you want to support our channel, you could always become a patron. But I'm going to leave it there for this one. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.